Hello, welcome to Art with Monet. Today we're doing a project, the Estereo Mountains by Claude Monet. And as you can see, it's really beautiful. To begin, you're going to need white paper, a brown marker, cotton swabs, and paint. Light green, dark green, and regular. Your first step is easy. All you're going to do is take your paper, flip it over, and write your name on the back. Once you're done with that, you're ready to start. With your brown marker, draw a tree trunk. Start by drawing a single line that curves like a snake at the bottom and then stretches out to the top of the paper. Next, make that line fatter by tracing it right next door to the first line. As you can see here, I made mine red, so you can see that I put the two lines side by side. Now, you're going to repeat the last step again. Make the line even fatter by tracing the line next door to the second line. I made mine pink, so you can see it all of your lines need to be brown and that's what will make it look like a tree trunk. Great job making your tree trunk! Now you will make branches to the tree trunk. They are like the arms of the tree. Make the first one on the left side reaching down. You will start about four finger spaces from the top of your tree trunk. Then make the branch like an arm reaching down behind the tree. Now you're going to give it a very long arm in the front. Like the tree is reaching with all of its might to reach the end of the page. Next you're going to draw an arm in the front reaching to the sky. Have that arm stretch all the way to the very edge of the paper, just like my friend Isabella is doing here. Time to reach behind again. This one arches up like a rainbow and then swoops down like a slide. Last step for our branches. Now you're going to fill it in with three or four baby branches. Those baby branches attach to the big ones and they make it look a little like baby Y's. I made mine red so you can see how I did it. Great job! Your tree looks fantastic! Are you ready to go on to put leaves on the branches? Now it is time to paint. You have a cotton swab in front of you. You have three colors of green. You need to start with a regular green color. Dip the cotton swab into the paint and make polka dots along the edge of the tree branch. Each dot is like a leaf, so you are going to need a lot of dots. Watch my friend Isabella paint a row of dots on her tree branch. See how easy it is? Once you have a branch filled in, you can now add shadow and light. You add dark green dots for shadows and light green dots for sunlight. That means you mix in the dark green dots on the bottom of your leaves for the dark and your light green dots get mixed in at the top of your leaves for the light. Let's check back in with Isabella and see how she's doing. Nice! Great polka dots! I like the way you're lifting it up off of the paper each time. Use the tip at the side. Tip. Up and down. There you go with that. There you go. 
Perfect. Do you see how it gives it more shape when you use the tip? When you use the side, it gets all mushy. Mushy yeah. gushy. Yep, use the tip. Use the part with the most cushion. Perfect. Great job. Now you're ready for the very last step. Filling in the ground that the tree sits on. This can look any way that you want it. It can be a small hill or it can be a long sweeping piece of land. Here Isabella filled in the bottom of the page with dots in dark green and she made sure to cover up the tree stump so it looks like the tree is planted in the ground. When she was done with her dark green, she came in and put light green on top to make it look like light and shadow are playing together. She did a fantastic job and I can't wait to see your art projects when they're done. I'll see you at the art fair.